real-time image stabilization. And here's how you can get early access to this cool feature from Insta360 Air. So you may recall that when I reviewed the Insta360 Air, I said that this was the best 360 camera for personal use, largely because of this new feature, the real-time image stabilization, and now it's finally here. But to get early access to it, you need to follow a few steps. A couple of tips. Uh, number one, uh, you're going to be holding the Insta360 Air a lot. So um, my, one way to uh, avoid smudging your lens is to mount the Insta360 Air upside down into its rubber, uh, silicone rubber case. You c it will, it, you'll still be able to insert it, but you, it will protect the lens this way. Another tip is that if you're using a smartphone case and you're using a USB adapter to insert the Insta360 Air uh, without removing your smartphone case, insert the Insta360 Air directly into your smartphone. There's fewer chances for errors. All right. Number one, you need an updated app, version 1.4. As, as, as of April 27, it's not yet on the Google Play Store, although it will eventually be there. But you can still get the beta version on Insta360.com. Just click on Download, then Insta360 Air, and then look for the version 1.4 of the app. Don't worry about the firmware. Just download the app and use your smartphone to do it. Number two, install the app. Now, when you download the app to your, the APK to your, your phone, uh, click on it, and then your phone you'll, will probably give you a warning that this is, uh, an, uh, this is an unknown app. Don't worry about it. Just uh, approve it for one-time use, um, and then it's going to install it, uh, and you'll be fine. So the next step is to install the firmware on the Insta360 Air. So to do this, you first you launch the Insta360 Air app. Then you insert your Insta360 Air onto your phone. Once you do that and you confirm that it's connected, go to the settings. Under settings, scroll down and one of the last options you'll see is about. Uh, and click on that and then you'll see things like your version of the app, which should be 1.4 or above. And uh, you'll see your firmware version. And when you see, when you see the firmware, tap on that. And it will get a, a, a message saying that there's a new firmware available for your Insta360 Air. So the, uh, it will tell you to, that the, you need to reinsert the Insta360 Air. So remember that when you got the Insta360 Air, along with the USB cable, there was this small pin. Um, it, 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 and if you lost it, don't worry. You can get like a like a paper clip or any thin object. Uh, then look at the bottom of your Insta360 Air, and there's a little hole there. It looks like a like a hole for a reset uh, pin, like in other devices. So that's where you're going to insert this, this uh, pin. You get your pin, insert it, and keep it pushed in into your Insta360 Air. And while you're pushing it in, you insert the Insta360 Air back into your phone. Now when you do this, you're going to get a message saying uh, that you're ready to upgrade the firmware. So that's when you can remove the pin and click on upgrade and you'll see a progress bar it will uh, download the up uh, the firmware into your insta360 air so the next step is after you've downloaded the the after the firmware has been downloaded to your insta360 air the next step is to remove the insta360 air again you'll be prompted to do this uh, you remove the Insta360 Air again, and then reinsert it. So uh, this time, uh, within a few seconds, your Insta360 Air will install the firmware, and 
um, your your app will show that you've got the new Instant 360 Air firmware. So once you've installed the firmware in the app, you're done. Your Instant 360 Air is ready to use with real-time image stabilization. So to use real-time image stabilization, go to the shooting screen and then uh, you'll see this little sci-fi looking symbol that looks like a, like a, a nuclear symbol. Um, and then you click on that and you know, and what as long as it's highlighted yellow the real-time stabilization will be active so this mode works not just for video but also for photos and for live streaming so enjoy and i hope you found this video helpful please take a moment hit the like button and please subscribe thanks very much